We're at Arcola Country Club in Paramus, so just not, not too far Must from there. Really close. The yeah, reason why yeah. is because it is, it is pretty close. It's only about 15 minutes away from Englewood Cliffs, only about 20 miles from where you guys are in, in Times Square. But it's a great cause because it's the first ever Morgan Hoffman Celebrity Golf Classic. It's going to be played right here, and it benefits all kinds of research to fund muscular dystrophy kind of cures and whatnot. So we're here, a host of guys, a host of celebrities, a host of PGA golfers out here, Morgan Hoffman. After the break, we're going to be talking to Rory McIlroy as well. He's also here helping to support that cause. So a lot of good golf, a lot of good charity work coming up from Arcola Country Club in Paramus, New Jersey, Joe. That's going to be good. Did uh, have you talked to Rory yet? Oh, God. Yeah, I have spoken to Rory. They, they are actually here right now. Guys, if, I, if you guys wouldn't mind, I know you guys are busy kind of getting ready for the golf round and whatnot. But let's bring you guys in right now because we got a great li- a lineup, of course, of these guests. Morgan Hoffman, Rory McIlroy, Morgan here, the host of our event. So maybe Morgan, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here for muscular dystrophy and why it's so important to you. A lot of people in golf, outside of golf, maybe don't know your story. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I mean, I know we don't have a lot of time here, but my my story is I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy in late 2016, and uh, I didn't want it to be about myself. And I knew that with my platform, I can help so many other people and uh, I've been doing so much research for the last five years on holistic living and being as natural as possible and I couldn't find any answers in in the US so I went abroad to Nepal for the last four months and and been been doing some uh, Ayurvedic treatment and uh, now coming back I have some more uh, oral treatment to take and uh, my, my goal for this is to build a health and wellness center one day down in Florida. We're raising money for it to be kind of a one-stop shop for health and and treating muscular dystrophy. What are you looking to get out of today's event? Uh, Just for people to have fun and uh, we have some great prizes on the course and uh, hopefully introduce my my amateurs and biggest donors to some great professionals like Rory here we're we're very grateful to have. Well speaking of Rory, I mean you're here supporting a great cause. What exactly brought you to the Morgan Hoffman Foundation and why are you here for this specific event? Yeah, so uh, obviously Morgan and I know each other from, from playing a lot of golf together. Uh, we live close to each other down in Florida. Um, and I didn't know really about the struggles Morgan was going through until I read his Players Tribune piece last year. And I was just so moved by it. And I thought, you know, here's a guy that's, you know, being dealt a pretty bad hand, but he's trying to make the most of it. And he's trying to help other people with, with the cause. And, and I was just really touched and moved by it. And, and you know, I reached out straight away and said what, what he's doing is so brave and, and very inspiring and, and I wanted to help any way I could. So that's why I'm here today and, and obviously lending my support to, to this great day. What, I mean, the game of golf donates so much more to charity than many other sports combined. Yeah. You have a foundation yourself. Why, why is golf and charity so closely linked? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think when you you look at the guys that play professional golf, we know we're very lucky. We know that we make a lot of money and, you know, a lot of us didn't grow up with that in mind. Um, so to to have this excess and be able to help other people and have a platform where we can go on TV and, and, and share stories about um, things that we want to help and people that we want to, you know, causes we want to help. Um, it's a big thing. I think it's, you know, the PJ Tour is, is such a charitable organization that puts so much money into into charities in every community that we go and play and I think it's just really it's just a part of the fabric of the game. Morgan what's the next step after this tournament what do you do from here? Well we have so many things that are ideas right now and uh, I guess the next step is have we had a a yacht party down in West Palm Beach a few months ago and uh, did something kind of similar on a smaller scale of a, a live auction and a silent auction and the next step is uh, I've been talking with the Devils here in New Jersey, and I've played hockey my whole life, and I kind of want to do something like that. We had Ken Danico here last night um, and a couple other Devils players, uh, Paul Mary and Hall, and uh, we'd like to do kind of a, a golf and hockey New Jersey Devils game because we have probably 10 guys that grew up playing hockey, especially the Canadians on tour, and I think that would be a cool next step. Just a couple seconds left, Rory. How good is the Ryder Cup going to be this year? (laughs) (laughs) Hopefully better than it was for us a couple of years ago, obviously, (laughs) speaking from a European standpoint. Um, It's going to be awesome. Look, I think Paris is going to be a great venue. You know, the two teams are shaping up really well. Um, So, yeah, it's it's going to be fun. Um, I know, obviously, as part of the European team, we're trying to 
trying to uh, get that, that cup back, especially on European soil. Well, guys, this is going to be a great event here in Paramus. Again, we're not far from where you guys are, but a whole slate of celebrities and athletes and pro golfers alike from the Morgan Hoffman Celeb Am Golf Classic. Guys, back over to you. Thanks very much, Thanks guys. So Appreciate much. that. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Tom. That was, that was great. And that's a great uh, that guy. He's, he's uh, amazing. Tell Rory. Ask Rory if he's ever been to the Jigger Inn. Uh, Tom, if he remembers, can you ask him that? He has. Yeah, he, I, I did. No, I did. And Rory did say he remembers the Jigger Inn. I showed him the photo of you guys together back there. He was with his dad. And he says that he remembers. He was with his dad. Yes, yeah, he, he said he... Very nice, Rory, very Rory was with his dad. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So they're getting ready to tee off right now for that shotgun, but he says he remembers the jigger in with you absolutely over there Absolutely no well. alcohol involved, even though my... I was tired. That's why my eyes look like that. There was no, no uh, alcohol involved on either uh, end of that, uh, Dom. Thank you.